Hi Pisces, Sistiana here to do your monthly reading for August 2019. For all Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, check the link in the description below. And if you still, and I'm not affiliated with them, okay? But if you still can't figure it out, shoot me a message and I'll see what I can do to help you to get that information, okay? Because I want you to be able to get the most out of these readings. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Oh, Pisces, it is August, the, the year's almost, it's over halfway over. Wow, the time is going by fast. Okay, so Pisces, central energy, what is Pisces dealing with for August 2019? Okay. The tower. Something changing within your foundation. Something being wiped away so that something new can come in. This is not, I mean, a lot of people look at this card as being negative, but I look at it as being, you know, sometimes you got to, you know, you got to clean the slate for a new beginning to happen, for you to better rebuild. So that's that's not really bad, but let's see um, where the rest of your energy for the rest of the month goes, and we'll go from there. Underlying energy is the Five of Cups. This is like just sitting down and wondering why, or hoping and praying and wishing and like oh my goodness something just come to me please it's begging it's discontent I'm, I'm just I don't like that energy but this is in the past so this energy here is leading to this so you've got to have the clearing so that you can move past this okay yeah King of Cups, Pisces, your energy, you are water. So this is you being in control of your surroundings, being in control of your energy. Oh, and look, you got the king as well. The king of swords. Air and water. Hmm. The Knight of Cups. justice or dealing with a Libra death right under the tower that clearing away possibly dealing with a Scorpio but I feel more like this is just the universe's way of cleaning the deck wiping the slate clean kind of feeling okay You got the star, dealing with an Aquarius possibly, and the five of swords. This is the, he's gathered up his swords, he's taking a stand and saying, hey, <laughs> I beat you, I'm done. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's a, a crazy type of energy to have. But it's like you're dealing with a lot of masculine energy, possibly Pisces, dealing with some air and some water. Um, yeah, it's air and water, that's it. No other signs so far because Scorpio is water, this um, Aquarius is air, Libra is air. This is, yeah. Emotions and thoughts, thoughts and emotions stuck in your head kind of feeling month for this month. Clearing out some things, some endings, a yes answer to something that you're hoping for, a wish coming true. You know, you wish upon a star. I mean, it's not bad, right? Okay, what's this tower here for Pisces? 
the tower for Pisces. The tower for Pisces. Okay. The five of cups. Feeling discontent. Feeling like you're missing out on something. Looking back and feeling regret. So your tower is coming down because you're feeling regret about something. Hmm? Let's see the king of cups. What's this king of cups here for Pisces? Okay, so you're going to get messages in from this king of cups. Or messages that are going to create that feeling of control for you. That's nice, right? But the king of swords. The king of swords. Okay, and you got the page of swords. The messenger coming in and like creating that feeling of like serious feeling of control here like you have some major control issues coming Pisces I mean and you got the tower with the five of cups which is about letting something go from the past that needs to be cleared out so whatever needs to be cleared out whatever from the past that needs to be let go of and stop wondering why stop wondering what if because it's in the past right it's in the past so leave it in the past get control of your emotions get a control of your thoughts the messages are coming through to tell you that what about the knight of cups the knight of cups which you have the ten of rods the completion of a cycle so he's coming in quickly with the messages that he's quickly he's quickly finishing off this cycle he's quickly finishing that action and like he's coming in quick but slow what's quick and slow quick and slow huh and I just got the whole quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Um, it takes two, is it? No, it's not that. It's that, um, oh, look who's talking now, I think it is. I think it's the third one. Um, whenever he's, he, he's kind of having, he's not having the affair on the, like, I, I don't know some of you might not know what I'm talking about but in the movie it's a, a dance it's a tango kind of dance between two um, people and the the man is actually married the woman's his boss and she traps him in this relationship he traps him in this situation that relationship traps him into a situation and he he's teaching her how to dance and it's a quick quick slow quick quick slow it's a, a a dance and I don't know the name of the dance I want to say it's a tango but I don't think it's a tango I'm probably wrong and I'm rambling I don't like rambling that's the feeling that I'm getting here Pisces that there's a lot of in and out a lot of in and out a lot of in and out and a lot of completion and I have gotten way off topic of what this is but somebody needs to hear this somebody's in that situation somebody is needing that advice that's it's just like i'm in major download mode at the moment and feeling really really heavy and feeling like yeah, this this nine of cups he's that quick quick slow motion like let me take two steps forward but i'm gonna take a step backwards you know two steps forward three steps back but you're at that completion. You're at the end of that cycle, okay? You got the Libra here, the justice. What's justice here for? What's this justice here for? For Pisces. What's justice here for Pisces? Oh. 
Okay. Pisces or Gemini? Which one is it? Or is this you're getting what you want within a love relationship? Gemini and Libra. This could be one person that they have this in their chart, Pisces. Or this is a trying to find balance within your love life. What about death? What's this death here for? For Pisces. It's death here for Pisces. It's a death here for Pisces. Death for Pisces. Judgment. A karmic cycle ending. Yeah. This this death, this is a clearing, this is something, this is an end of a karmic cycle for you. What about the star? The star. What's the star here for Pisces? The star for Pisces. Oh, the yes answer, the beautiful new beginning. This is, I mean, then this is supporting energy for this. This is a new beginning coming for you. Financial new beginning, a yes answer. I mean, and look, everything has, everything happens for a reason. You have a, a clearing, a karmic cycle ending. Balance within your love life. Balance with love, balance within a relationship. The quick quick slow <laughs> now I'm going to be stuck on that um, with the ending of a, uh, of a journey the, the ending of a cycle with this follows along so you got a new beginning because you have had some clearing you have a clearing here you have this the these male energies here this message is coming in what about the Five of Swords? And we'll finish this off, Pisces, with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords for Pisces. So, here we go. Okay. So, you've gathered up your swords. And now, it's like, I got to pull together all of my resources so that I can finish off this month. August is going to be a heavy month for you some big energies big changes and you need to pull together all of your resources so that you can make it through and i feel like you're going to make it through without any problems it's not going to be it's not going to be a bad month endings new beginnings this seems to be the theme for all of the signs too i really do feel like it is so I mean, if it doesn't resonate, chuck it. Check your moon and rising, okay? Or reach out and get a private reading. You can find me on my Facebook page, Sienna Star. And I'm more than happy to help you out there. So I hope that y'all have a great month. And until next time, have a peace. Have a, I wanted to say peace out. Somebody, somebody has that language here. Um, if you use peace out a lot, then uh, maybe this is your reading. Until next time, have a blessed day.